Hi everyone, Carol here. I have another uh, 12 by 12 layout to share with you today. Okay, so the layout is made from a 12 by 12 uh, scrapbooking kit that I had purchased from my uh, creative scrapbook. I've been subscribed to their um, monthly kit for on and off for a couple of years now. I am never ever disappointed. They always have the, uh, the latest and greatest. And this is from the um, Prima something blue collection and I am in love with this paper <laughs> it's just gorgeous 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 paper this is one of my favorite prints here and this is beautiful okay so I used um, one of the uh, yeah, it's just the one. One of the um, chipboard pieces. And this is what the others look like. They're just so, so beautiful. Um, I used a tiny bit of um, this Melissa Francis trim. I used some of these flowers that came with the, uh, the kit. Mini Sachet Spring. And they are 2013 flowers. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And everybody recognizes these, of course, from the Lyric Collection. I used brads and I used one of the acrylic dots. And I used one of the uh, acrylic dots. I used some of the lettering that was included in the kit. I also used some Prima lettering. And I used a pack of thickers that I had gotten in a previous kit from them in the uh, Nikki Ricky glittery chipboard stickers. Um, okay, that's it. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I decided to um, follow the uh, the sketch that they had for this month just because I really like the layout of it. So, here we go. Here's my baby girl. I love this layout. So I basically, like I said, I followed the, um, the sketch pretty much to a T, but um, I used another one of the papers here. These are the Prima letterings and these are the thickers. Um, I have a paper doily over here. This one is a sticker. It's a Prima uh, doily sticker. I love that. I colored it with um, Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink in the uh, tea dye and spun sugar. Um, also over here I used uh, an old uh, T Holt Tim Holtz dye, the Flourish. Here I have a bigger one here. And over here I used um, coordinating um, chipboard paper. And I also ink the edges with the um, sponge sugar and the uh, tea dye as well. So here she is looking out of the window, the patio door with her puppy, and then she looked at the camera. <laughs> so here's uh, the uh, Melissa Francis trim. Over here we have those tiny little blooms. I have some slightly big ones that I got from another uh, Prima package, but um, these are, this is the one that I showed you the, where was that from? Yeah, there we go. That is the um, Roses of Spain. Um, here's one of the little acrylic um, dots. This is an older uh, Prima flower as well, as are the leaves. Um, this is just a recollection flower that I, I pulled the, um, the pearl off of to put the, the uh, acrylic dot. 
And same here, but I used a brad from the collection. And over here, this is arrangement. Here's another fly, uh, leaf from Prima. I made a little bow and I stuck another one of the, uh, the brads in. Uh, just to cover the stem. Um, these are the flowers, the um, uh, Prima Lyric flowers. And some more of those tiny blooms. Here's a tiny little leaf that I had in my stash. Here's a chipboard piece that I used. And I wrote Compelled by Curiosity. Just, she just stares out the window for a while. Um, this is an acrylic, two acrylic hearts that I purchased from an online shop as well. So that's the layout. I hope you like it. I absolutely love it. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.